everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by, welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I am bringing to you another one of those fun paper crafting DIYs that I've been bringing to you every holiday, fun ways to gift some of those edible treats. And so today I am bringing to you a DIY on how to make these stinking adorable milk cartons. This is a six pack and oh my word, isn't it so cute? I just love paper crafting. Now this is a DIY that I am bringing to Ali, Kayla, Andre? Yeah, I am. I had to ask myself if I was because I couldn't remember how many I made. But yeah, this is a DIY that I am definitely making for all three of them. And what's fun about this is that there are six milk cartons here. And in all six milk cartons, I put a different treat. This is such an easy DIY. It's is it quick? I can't say it's super quick. It's probably going to take you about 45 minutes to do. But would you look at the outcome? It is 45 minutes that's going to be well spent on paper crafting because you end up with this. I think that it's just a fun way to give something a bit different than an Easter basket. This paper crafting DIY, you're going to use, I think, five pieces of cardstock and you are going to need one decorative scrapbooking paper to add to the decoration if you want to. If not, if you want to leave it solid, you can, but why would you leave it solid when you can buy one piece of decorative scrapbooking paper? at Hobby Lobby and it's gonna add so much to it. So let's not waste any more time. Oh wait, before I jump into it, let me tell you, I do wanna put a disclosure that these are not my DIYs. These are not crafts that I came up with. Uh, these are just paper crafts that I find on Pinterest that I really like and I like to bring to you. And because so many of you say that Pinterest is very intimidating because they only take pictures of the DIY. They're not super clear on how to do it. You say you like it when I bring these to you and I show you step by step how to do these. And it is Monday again. Oh my word. Do you hear the trash? Wow. It never fails. You know. Okay. So because I'm on a schedule, that's why trash day always seems to be in my intros because if you haven't caught on, I film my intros on Monday and I do it in the morning. And my battery just died too, so I had to replace that. My word, the cards are stacking against me today. Okay, well, I'm just gonna talk through the trash truck because all of you tell me just to keep talking, so I'm gonna keep talking. Maybe I'm not, it's loud. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna talk louder and louder to get past the. <laughs> That's Kayla, she's home. She's getting ready to paint. Yeah. Maybe I should change my schedule, but I can't. Yes. And Kayla's got the rolling chair. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you guys the setup here. What's going on behind the scenes? What you don't see, I mean, why not? This is a fun paper crafting video and now it's turned into an everything video. Okay, so we're just gonna rotate the camera this way. Oh, okay, zoom out maybe. So that's Kayla's easel. She's got her chair. She's got her paint. She's about to paint. Yeah, and some of you, oh, whoa, now it's off center. Holy moly. Wow, that's what I get for moving the camera. So some of you may be saying, why is she painting there? Well, she's painting right the carpet. She's not allowed to paint in her room. We just got new carpet. So I told her she has to paint on the tile where if it splatters or spills, I can clean it up. This is the only place in the house with paint tile. <laughs> carpet everywhere else. Okay. 
Like I was disclosing, these are not my idea, and so many of you really seem to like it when I film these DIYs, so you can follow along with me step by step as I do it. And so I think honestly, in general, that just makes it easier. You know, you can pause me, you can do what you need to do, you can unpause me, see what I do next, and pause me again. And I think that's the best way to do it. And honestly, I'm doing this in a two-part video because this is a longer video. And so we're gonna start off with doing the milk cartons today, and then whatever day today is, in two days, I will be doing the base, the holder for the cartons, just to make it easier so this isn't a 45 minute video. So let me show you just how quick and easy it is to make these milk cartons that you're gonna need six of, or more. Why not? Because look it, I made more. I made a ton of them because I was having so much fun making them. Paper crafting is addicting. You're gonna love it. And if you haven't seen my everything you need to paper craft items that you can get from the Dollar Tree, I'll link that in the description box below because it really helps with getting you started with paper crafting and keeping you going. Let's not waste any more time. Let me quit my gabbing. Let's get to it. For this DIY, you're gonna need one eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. I'm using this solid pink one. And I dug into my scraps and because it's Easter, I saw this piece in my scraps. I love to keep my scraps because this is a decent size and I can't see throwing it out because it's gonna come in useful for something like this. And so I'll be using this as well and we really don't need very much of this. So it's gonna work perfect. With one piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock, you should be able to get two cartons. So we're gonna cut this down on the 11 inch side to the halfway mark, which is five and a half inches. On the long side of the paper, which is the eight and a half inch side, we're gonna score at two, four, six, and eight, leaving us a half inch here on the end. We're gonna rotate our paper to the five and a half inch side, and we're gonna score at one and a half inches, and we're gonna score at three and a half inches. Now we're gonna take the paper at the bottom and you are just simply going to flip it over just like so and you're gonna score at five inches. Now for this, the only cutting that we're gonna do is here we've got the half inch scoring line that you can see here and we've got two sections of full blocks and then we've got this bottom section. On this bottom section here, we've got this side that's got the half inch scoring line as well. So you'll see where the two half inch lines meet, there's a block. That's the corner you do not want to cut. You want to come down from that on the five and a half inch side and cut this rectangle off here. Down here at the bottom, these are the flaps to the bottom of our carton. So we're gonna cut slits in these. Just like that. And if you wanna taper in your flaps, you can. It always just makes for a nicer fold. Just by kinda of cutting a pizza slice off of the ends here. Now we're gonna fold in all of our scoring lines. On this top flap here, you want to fold that in, then we're going to flip it over and we're going to fold in the rest of our lines. Dollar Tree's got a new double-sided tape roll by Crafter Square. This is amazing. This tape is really no different than the tape that is in this advanced tape glider, only there's not a dispenser. And so a lot of paper crafters use tape like this outside of the dispenser, and I think it's great. This is a great alternative to using 
a liquid tacky glue. If you wanna use a liquid tacky glue, you can. The flap that's folded in here, we're gonna place some tape along that edge. Then we're gonna flip over our paper and we're gonna place some tape on the first flap and the third flap. While this is folded down, if you take this and just fold it in half, it makes it easier to line up. So you've got your carton and now we're just going to close in the bottom. This is where the pattern paper comes in. I cut four one and a half by one and a half inch squares. So to make this easier, before we add those, I'm gonna show you that here at the top, we've got that scoring line here. We're gonna take and just kind of pinch so our tops come together here just like this. And to keep it closed, I'm gonna use these mini clothespins that the Dollar Tree has. They're by Crafter Square. They come in this multicolored pack. So now it's easy to tell that right here on the face of these is where we're going to put these cute little squares. Isn't that so adorable? And what's fun about these is you can put the candy in there. There's a good amount there. And so for this DIY, you're gonna need six of these cartons. So that's gonna be three eight and a half by 11 sheets of cardstock that you're gonna need because you can get two of these cartons out of each piece of cardstock. And I switched up the colors and did two of each and went with the darker pink, the lighter pink, and a blue all which kind of coordinate with the patterned egg paper. Make sure to stay tuned for my next video where I do part two of this, where I actually do the carrying case that all six of these milk cartons are gonna go in. You are not gonna wanna miss this. I love the way these turned out. These are quick, they're easy, they're budget friendly. And to make six of them, it's probably gonna take you about a half an hour to do. But how fun is that? If you really don't wanna use a mini clothespin, you could use a brad, or you could even just punch a hole and use some baker's twine if you wanted to. But I think that the clothespins are adorable. And uh, yeah, part two to this video is going to be the base. And the base is so simple and easy, and it's gonna take you two pieces of cardstock. And so like I said, this whole DIY together is six pieces of paper, which is still very budget friendly. And it is one of the DIYs, paper crafting DIYs, that is on the longer side. But pop in a movie, paper craft, and have fun because once you make one, you're gonna make two, and then you're gonna make three and four, and yeah. How cute Six, is this? Six, seven, eight. Yeah. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, ten, <laughs> six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. Counting with Kelly. Thanks for count by six. Stay <laughs> Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty-two. Okay, so. Anyway, I have this intro. I feel like I need to re-film it, and I'm just not it going just to. Be a video on its own. <laughs> yeah, this whole bloopers. This is like a bloopers intro video because I need to probably redo this whole thing. I hope you all enjoyed today's milk carton crate Easter basket DIY. If you want to see more of these paper crafting DIYs, make sure to leave me a comment in the comments below. Because, like I always say, I go off of your feedback. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get it to 5,000 likes so that way I know you really liked it because each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day, happy paper crafting on a budget, and bye for now everybody. <laughs>